Yes. It is very important question in the interviews also. In the interview, they'll ask us, how will you create a new responsibility which is having similar uh, matter? For example, in system administrator, go to responsibility and search for the responsibility, whatever we have. General ledger, vision operations, USC is the responsibility. You can use down arrow mark. This. I wanted to create one more responsibility with the same functionality. So we know that the basic definition of responsibility, what is responsibility? Generally, when we apply as a fresher, they will be asking us, what is responsibility? Responsibility is nothing but a level of authority where the employees can log into the applications and they can try to create the transactions by using the menu and they can try to run the programs. When they open the forms, they'll be able to find the security. When they run the programs, they'll find the security that happens through the data group. That's the basic definition. So what is the responsibility? It's a level of authority where we will combine the menu, data group, as well as the request group. Menu is nothing but a group of forms. Request group is nothing but a group of reports and programs. Data group is nothing but a security. It's a group of username and passwords. Oracle applications, usernames and passwords. Okay, so here, uh, the requirement is this responsibility is provided by Oracle. Oracle has provided this responsibility. But I don't want to use this seeded responsibility. Seeded are built in, are standard. All these words are same. All these words are same. There is no difference. Okay. So this seeded one uh, client don't want to use. They want to create uh, a new responsibility. We call it as a custom responsibility with this one. So how we have to do that? It's one of the important question. In fact, when we are working in the projects also, we'll be doing this. So we need to copy the menu name. Then we need to copy the request group name. You can have, you can have same request group in different applications. Right now it is uh, a general ledger. Okay, application name is general ledger. And data group, of course, it will be standard always. The data group will be always uh, standard. Okay, now we need to copy all these three. Let's go for create a new responsibility. I'm going to mention that RTL underscore GL responsibility. Application general ledger. Responsibility key, we can enter any key. So we are going to mention that GL custom responsibility. Here we have to add this group, standard group, and attach this menu, whatever we have copied, attach the request group here with this application name. Fine. This is how we are going to create. Now this responsibility will assign to the users. Let's go to our user. So what is our user? this whatever the username we are using you can assign the responsibility to multiple users we can assign to either one user or multiple users now what happened its system is showing invalid value for responsibility name okay uh, let me search your responsibility name is not created it seems let me go back search for the responsibility whatever we have created use percentage there is rtl profile oh it seems it's not created let me do this again application name i'm using general ledger we can enter any key let's go for menu name here data group it will be standard the application name as general ledger and request group. Uh, 
the responsibility has created successfully. Now we are going to attach this responsibility to the user. Now user, if you want to assign your own ledger for this responsibility, you can choose the responsibility and uh, select your ledger name. And you can assign. Vision operations, US. Now I got this uh, custom responsibility. I'm able to create the journals here. We are able to go for create the journals. Okay. So this is how we are going to create a new responsibility. It's not only for GL module. It's for payables module, purchasing module. When we are working in the real time, especially in the supporting projects, the clients will say is that today one new employee has joined we wanted to give the access to that employee only this uh, forms and only this reports forms are nothing but a menu the reports are nothing but a request group request group we are going to attach that's how it is going to be created that's how we will be going to create over here. okay fine so it's a it's a common requirement and in the interviews also they'll ask us uh, how will you create the similar type of responsibility this can we customize that for example uh, this responsibility we have created and uh, uh, the user is able to access this uh, uh, all options journals menu budgets inquiry currency consolidation reports and setup and other. i don't want uh, this setup in rtl gl responsibility menu this setup menu is there right this setup menu i don't want i want it to remove it's very simple you know the menu name, right? You know the menu name. Once you know the menu name, that can be customized from the responsibility called application developer. Application developer. We have to go to the responsibility called application developer. We have to go to application, go to menu, and search for your menu, whatever. and set up right this you can go for delete save it can be saved like this okay so uh, that that's the option generally it is a standard one we are not going to do this here okay uh, but if you delete here wherever your menu is using this will be removed so if you remove your uh, sub menu from here what happened wherever you are using this menu it will be removed but i don't want to do it so my requirement is let me just cancel right now if i go to it is also again important question in the menus if i go to general ledger vision operations usa same menu right here we are using same menu whatever the new responsibility we have created there also we are using the same menu there also we are using the same menu right same menu but if you remove this setup sub menu from the main menu what happened this sub menu will be removed from both the responsibilities from gl responsibility it will be removed as well as from the new responsibility what we have created okay but my requirement is this setup menu should be removed only from this responsibility not from the standard one not from the standard one so that time what we have to do we have to go to system administrator while creating the responsibility while creating the responsibility we are adding the menu right there is a tab here menu exclusions you have added its fine menu. In this menu, do you want to exclude any of the sub menus 
for this responsibility sub menu or forms okay so we can go to here and then we can choose what is our sub menu setups right we have to choose that setup sub menu setup accounting setup manager uh, this is only to exclude one particular page but i want to exclude the entire menu right so you can search here setup the ap setup menu is there So what we are trying to do, we are not uh, excluding from the menu. Menu is assigned for this responsibility, but in this responsibility, some of the sub menus we are going to exclude. For example, I want to exclude the journal. Like this, we can perform menu exclusions here. Okay, let's close this page. And come back to our uh, responsibility here. Now, if I go to general ledger, setup menu is there here, but check it in our responsibility. RTL, GL responsibility. See, setup menu is not there. Journal menu also is not there. We excluded two sub menus, journal and setup. But the same menu we are using for our standard one, right? But we have excluded only for this menu. So if you don't want for all the responsibilities, do it at menu level. But I don't want to do it for all the responsibilities, gen sorry, all the menus. Oh, then we'll do it at responsibility level. It's very common requirement and our requirement will be doing at responsibility level. In the real time, the client will ask you to create multiple responsibilities as per their requirement. The client will tell us what uh, forms they want to keep it here in the menu, what reports they want to keep it in the SRS window. According to that, we need to create the menu and we need to create a request group and then go for attach. So these are the two important questions in the interviews they'll ask you. Have you created any time custom responsibilities? Yes. How will you do that from system administrator? Can you create uh, uh, the new responsibility as it is with the seeded one? Oracle has provided one standard one, purchasing vision operations. I want to do it as it is one more responsibility. How will you do it? We'll go to system administrator. We'll search the existing one and we'll copy the menu name. Then we'll copy the request group name and then we'll copy the data group and we'll create new one by giving all these options. Out of the menu, I don't want some of the forms or some of the sub menus. How will you do that? So while creating responsibility, there is a tab called menu exclusions tab. In that tab, there are two options, function and sub menu. Function is used to hide the particular page. Submenu is used to hide the particular submenu. That's how we are going to perform. Okay. So this is about uh, the uh, responsibility creation and the menu hiding options. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.